glad that you're here tonight. Thank you for everything that you've done. But I have a question. Why did you start SciFest LA? I started SciFest LA because I had an idea. And the idea was that science fiction, which I've always loved my entire life, is something that seems to be experienced on screens in some right. detached kind of way. And I'm a big I'm a big fan of like when I first found science fiction, I found it on the reruns of Star Trek and I found it in the library in the in the stories of like Ray Bradbury and Isaac Asimov. And I wanted to bring it to life. And so what we're doing is we're bringing science fiction to life on stage. So they're what we're doing are we're basically presenting I guess what you call them is like uh, Twilight Zone episodes that are presented live on stage, and they have these extraordinary artists who are both acting in them and writing them and directing them and designing them, and it's it's an interactive experience in science fiction that's never really been created before. So we're the first people doing it on the planet Earth. And now, are, when you say it's never been done before, is it more because um, you know it used to be on the screen and now you can really interact with it in the science fiction, or is it never been done before because of how short the one-act plays are? What like what is it that you would say that has never been done before? Well, in fact, of using science fiction in the field of theater, it's very, very rarely been attempted. And the way that we're doing it, which is we're essentially telling five stories every night. These little mini masterpieces, in my opinion anyway, that take us to all these different places around the globe. And the beauty of science fiction is it's a reflection of the world in which we live. When it's done well, it's about us now. Yeah. It's about the things that are scaring us. It's about the things that are challenging us. It's about the things that are moving us right now in our lives. Because the world, science fiction always flourishes when the world is changing rapidly. And all of the creative minds in that world start to think about the future. They start to speculate. They start to think, well, what if or how would I behave if this happened, if the world became this way? Which is a very good question. Always. Right? So science fiction is this way of examining all these things. It always has been. It's been a, a, all, asking all of us to look into our own personal conscience and say, how would I behave in this situation? Mm -hmm. What would I do if faced with this? So. And it's being done in an incredibly entertaining and creative and mind-bending sort of way. So it's not like being preached at. It's a matter of allowing your imagination to tell you something about yourself and about the world that you live in. Yeah. And is it accessible to everybody? Like anybody can buy a ticket and you can just get online and go to SciFestLA.com. SciFestLA.com. And it's accessible to anybody. I mean, these are stories that are human in character, no matter how creepy or strange the characters might be or what planet or dimension it takes place in. It's always about what it essentially means to be human. How long does it run? It runs from May 5th to May 29th, 2016. So we and go right now. We're exactly, just beginning. We exactly. Plenty of time. Everybody. Exactly. We got plenty of performances left, so please come and experience it with us because it's really an amazing thing and it's very affordable. It's there for the community. It's there for people who are interested in something different and something new and who want to be challenged by their entertainment. I can't wait. I, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. All right. Thank you so Bye, much. Thank you. Thank you.